Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday. I love you. Sending you a big virtual hug wherever you are on the earth plane right now. So I got two messages that came in. They both came in late last night around midnight. And um, they're both related to each other. I want to share both of them with you. The first message is a much higher perspective message. The second message is much more human. So my guide showed me that there is basically a really powerful swirling energy that's getting more intense on the entire earth plane. So almost like a mixing bowl. And there's all these ingredients there inside this mixing bowl. And the, that, those little like swirler things that, um, you know, the mixers, the automatic mixer things, they're starting to turn on. And so everything, all the ingredients in that bowl is starting to swirl and spin. And I want you to visualize that you are an ingredient in that mixing bowl, right? Every being, human or not, is in that mixing bowl. And when you're in the mixing bowl, you don't realize that you're in the mixing bowl. You also don't realize that you're maybe starting to be mixed and spun around. And the way that we experience this especially right now, many of us, not all of us, but a lot of us are feeling this. It's this energy of anticipation. It's an energy of what is mine and what is not mine. What's my truth? What's not my truth? What do I believe? What do I not believe? Where do I stand? How do I speak it? What do I share? What do I not share? Do I say this? Do I not say it? Well, I just said this and now I'm feeling this. I used to think this, now I'm thinking this. What does that mean about me? If I think and believe this, what does that mean about me? There's all of this swirling energy that we're finding ourselves in and it's very challenging perhaps to find a very solid, sovereign sovereign sort of grounded space right now. What am, who am I? What is my resonance? What is my truth, right? And the words that came out from them, my guides about this is be kind and this is not they did not mean be kind to yourself because they always say that right be kind to others right now because what is happening is every ingredient in the mixing bowl just call them humans are innately trying to do the best they can and when we are in that mixing bowl spinning around trying to find our bearings, having all this information being thrown at us right now, having new experiences that we've never experienced before as a collective, as all the ingredients in the bowl, we can find ourselves taking it out on others. We can find ourselves reacting, throwing, pushing, projecting onto others, consciously or unconsciously, because we are finding ourselves in the mixing bowl spinning And we're uncomfortable and we don't know what to do with everything that we're feeling. We don't know how to process it necessarily. We don't know how to get rid of it out of our bodies. And so a knee jerk reaction is I'm going to take it out on someone else. I'm going to blame somebody else. I'm going to make mean comments to somebody else. I'm going to tell these other people that they're wrong or that they're right or whatever that may be. Right. It's getting very intense on the earth plane. We're in the mixing bowl. And we've never been in a mixing bowl in the way that we are right now. And so the reason that they are sharing this message is, can you bring awareness to the energies that we are in right now? This swirling, swirling energies. We're all in this together. It doesn't matter your beliefs, your truths. We all have different truths. We all have different beliefs. We all are navigating this inside the mixing bowl the best that we absolutely can. And our job is to recognize and remember that no matter what truths or beliefs we hold inside that mixing bowl, we're all swirling together Because we are all moving through this collective ascension together, we will eventually be put into an oven together and we will be pulled out as one big beautiful piece of cake or a meal of some sort. 
we will have melded and mended together as one unified field of consciousness. But until that happens, we are going to feel very unique and separate. We're going to feel as if there is an, a fight against others, a divide, a polarity. And that's part of being in this massive human collective shift is understanding and feeling that polarity and divide is part of it. But if you can start to remember that even in that, even in that feeling of divide, that in that feeling of polarity, in that feeling of right and wrong, my side, your side, whatever that is, and feeling like you don't even know what's going on, you can't even get your bearings, that this is all part of how the collective shifts. This is how energy shifts. And it will swirl together to eventually in another now moment, create one beautiful unified field. But we're not there yet. We are there in another now moment, it already is. But we're in a past now moment, trying to courageously navigate a massive polarity and divide in a collective consciousness. So we're swirling. Pay attention to how you are navigating that swirl. Pay attention to how you are reacting and responding to other humans. Are you taking things out on other humans because you maybe not necessarily know how to clear it through your own physical body? It's too much for you to handle. Is there an unconscious knee-jerk reaction to respond to people in a certain way that's just natural and normal? And perhaps that's one of the things that you're clearing. That's one of the ways in which you are shifting into higher states of consciousness is to not to finger point or to belittle or to call somebody right or wrong. Because you see, neutrality doesn't mean you don't hold thoughts and opinions and truths. Neutrality means I'm in the mixing bowl and I'm going to have experiences around that mixing bowl and I may feel resonance towards certain ingredients but neutrality means that I see the entire mixing bowl and I'm holding the entire mixing bowl as part of my journey and experience, meaning it is all okay. It can all be here. There is no right or wrong. You are an ingredient that should not be here. You are an ingredient that should not be thinking that, should not be acting that way. Unfortunately or fortunately, everything that is being experienced on this earth plane right now is part of the ingredients in the mixing bowl and it's all shifting into a unified field, all of it. Neutrality is being able to see that and to hold all perspectives while you yourself continue to hold whatever perspectives you want. You can have any opinion and belief and thought that you want, truth that you want in the mixing bowl, but can you do it from a neutral perspective, which is I'm gonna have my opinions, I'm gonna have my beliefs, Right? What I believe, what I want to happen, what I want to unravel, what, how I'm navigating this. It's my truths, how I navigate this. But I see yours. I honor yours. I acknowledge yours. That's neutrality. That's how you stand neutral in the mixing bowl. So remember, massive divide and polarity right now. There's a swirling energy that's happening. And it's going to be, it's going to continue to build, Right? And so how are you navigating that swirl right now in your life? And how kind can you be to others? How kind can you be to others, especially those that trigger you, that you want to project onto, that you don't like? You're in that bowl with them. You're swirling around, mixing with them. You're all going to come out as the same unified field. You already are. That's the peace. You already are all of this. We're just unique individual sparks experiencing our own human journey. So this knee jerk reaction or however you are responding to humans, pay attention. Open heart even more, open your heart even more, have more compassion because we don't know what the other person has experienced. 
We don't know what the other person is going through. We don't know how the other person is navigating their swirl. And why can we not come together in a unified bowl with differing opinions, with differing thoughts, with differing beliefs, and still hold your own? That's unity. That's neutrality. That's higher states of consciousness. Finger pointing, blaming, belittling, separating, dividing, polarity. That's what we're clearing. And that's in the mixing bowl. And if you play in it, you're holding tight like the rock in the river. You're holding tight to polarity and duality, which is fine. It's okay. But can you stand in the middle of all of it? Hold an opinion. Hold a truth. And from a higher state of consciousness, hold neutrality. Love all the ingredients in there, if you can, or some of the ingredients, some of the ingredients you may hate for now. Maybe not. Be kind, be kind, be kind. We are all doing the best we can. And it is going to continue to swirl like those little electric mixers for the next few months. And our job as the way shower is to be able to open our hearts more, to have more compassion and empathy, to be kind, to see the bigger picture, and to try to recognize that everybody and every being is navigating this to the best of their ability. We've got this. I love you. <laughs>